Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 23. Finally getting back into this really, really cool start to the war. The start to the war that every Japanese player looks forward to, which is the surprise attack. It was pointed out already that one of our submarines has infiltrated Port Arthur in a way no submarine, uh, at least historically, knew how to do. And so, <clears throat> we'll hope that they uh, can... <laughs> Can, uh, make it home at least. We've had a few turn up, you know, lost essentially after a fight. Um, battle plan for this is pretty simple. Let's see, do we have. Ooh, we do have our carrier. It is nighttime. This carrier is not likely to be very useful. In fact, is it pitch dark? It is pitch dark. Just the start of pitch dark. I, I suspect that our best. Oh man, you're right. I did forget to put. So at least make this look a little bit better, but. Zero five inch guns. Hmm, there it is. <laughs> um, I did forget to put the superstructure on. No, but this, the Oichi, I doubt that there's any use for her in this. Unless the battle goes on for a very, very long time. In fact, what I'm going to do is just send her down here. Turn her away. <clears throat> this is not her battle. She will have her battles. They are very soon coming. But it is not this one. And so anybody who's even supporting her should... Yeah, I don't think anybody is supporting her, so we'll continue. Uh, we're going to take a lot of these off AI control because uh, I don't want them to go backwards like they're trying to do. We're going to get them up to 20. I'd like to know what my squad max is here. Good, we have 21. Um, coal firing. Um, we have coal firing ships. Oh, yes. The Gachimuchis are here. The Otago. So this is uh, 21 knots, and these are 23, yeah. And the Antake's here with her faster sister, sister ship, actually the Sukurajima, Sukura, Sukura Jima is actually the namesake, and the Antake's the sister ship. So these will be able to speed on over um, a little bit more hastily, and hey, it's, it's nice that they're actually starting in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll just, um, we'll be pushing for yeah, I mean, this, this destroyer's got it right. So I think we'll start taking everyone off AI control because I'm always very nervous about what they're going to do. Get you guys down to 20. <clears throat> got something in my throat. Um, put these guys up to 24. Then you guys go up to 21. And the next ones are going to go up to... 19, etc. So we're trying to get some distance between them. And in fact, I want the first group to go almost due west. In fact, probably even southwest. Because we do want a little bit of dispersion between these so that we have a little bit of space to, to find. I mean, we don't have a very large vision radius. We want to know where these ships are as quick as possible. So to that point, what's your max? We'll probably get you guys up to 26. Put you to... 23, you to 21, maybe we'll just drop by two knots each. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do here. Um, you to 20, and everyone else is, I guess we'll just have these guys fan out at 20, because they'll be going different places, so it won't really matter that they're going the same speed. And good luck. We'll see what happens. Okay, so after that, Oh, we'll also get you. Mm, that's fine. Line ahead. 21. 20 down to 20. Uh, you guys probably... Yep, yeah, that's actually fine. Get going that way. And you as well. I mean, look at... we. Well, okay, we'll leave you on support. I know it's the one last ship, so it's not that big of a deal. But let's, find, let's see what we end up finding here. We've already engaged the torpedo at all costs flag <clears throat> and here we go sweeping into the port from the west or from the east there we have it our first sighting <clears throat> we'll dispatch just one destroyer group they're going to flag to the rest of them to continue we'll slow down a little bit just so we have a little bit more time for torpedo launches oh, please 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 identify the damn ship okay we're pulling off one reserve uh, force, just to make sure we oh God, identify this damn ship. 
This is pretty frustrating. <laughs> Just torpedo the damn things. <laughs> We're going to collide with them before we apparently identify them. Oh my gosh, it's just so hard to identify this damn ship. Okay, it's a transport. That's why I was a little bit worried. Let's not launch torpedoes at this. In fact, I will launch one torpedo. Just, ooh, it's going to launch three. That's a little bit unfortunate. Friendly ships in line of fire. Okay, that's actually fine. I'll have these two stick around and actually make the run. We're looking for the, the main fleet, and it could be up here. We might even be able to kill this thing just with guns. We're still looking, still looking for the... Oops. Where's the main fleet? I expect them here. We have overlapping vision arcs, so... Where are they? We're going to sweep all the way to the port. They're in port. Oh my god. This is going to be hard. Okay. Well, this is going to be tough. Oh my god. They're just, they're just right in there. No wonder we couldn't find them. That's a bunch of bollocks. All right, they're starting to move. We have to make sure this is quick. Go up. We sank that already. All hands to the port. Okay, launch immediately. If you can, launch. I don't care what you're launching at, just launch. Actually, we're, so we're taking hits now from the coastal battery. This is crazy. I mean, this is the kind of situation I would love if I was defending from. Not that again. I would love to be in this position if I was defending. Oh, okay, we have battle cruisers. And they're starting to move. We gotta get this quickly. Man, I hate it when the surprise attack is blown by stupid. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're launching though. We're launching. Okay, do it. Get her done. Going after the second one because I'm, I'm just expecting the first one's going to take take some hits. Okay, BC, CA, BC. Who do we hit? One. Oh, God, that's a lot. We've identified that as the Gangoot. Oh, oh this is going to be so glorious. And look at this wave of torpedoes going in. Do you have any other torpedoes? You do. Don't, don't stop firing. Do not stop firing. Ships in line of fire, no! There's not ships in line of fire, please, no! Don't tell me that. Okay, BC, BC, unidentified ship. Okay, let's, let's track all of these here. Three, so she's dead. Unidentified ship is hit. BC is hit, perfect. Two, okay, good, two into that, plenty into that. Gangoot is the biggest uh, attack target now. No torpedoes. Okay. If you have no torpedoes, we're not even going to bother with you. Just seriously, just go right home. Just go right on home. Ah, eh, you can make it at 20. And you know what? Start your smoke. You guys should all be deploying smoke, really. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. How are you guys doing? You have plenty of torpedoes left. Let's make our way back in. Okay. Oh my gosh. Again, good. Okay, good. Oh gosh, so good. <laughs> Let's take a moment and just remember how awesome this is. Two more. Oh my gosh. And yes. Okay, good. All right, all right, all right. We're having some success here. The Yuko is certainly not going to have a chance to fire yet. Gangu just took lot more. Um, I still want to fire at all of these ships though because I'm not worried about them being destroyed or not. 
Oh wow! Fire! Yes, fire at that. That's perfect shot. I just want to rain torpedoes in the, into the harbor, just fl flood the harbor with torpedoes. Actually, if you can hit something like this, it's my preference. Uh, okay, we'll just have you fire at that. We'll just put more torpedoes into the harbor, and then get you out of here. And here comes the other destroyers. Hopefully that they can help out. Um, you still have torpedoes left. You have all of your torpedoes left. And here comes the first. Oh, we have a destroyer here. Well, let's not worry about the destroyers. Let's, let's, you know, we have our priorities. Um, that's a good launch. That was such a good launch. Hopefully we'll take out that light cruiser. I mean, I don't know if it's a light cruiser. It might be a destroyer, but we're moving in. Okay, this is a whole mess of ships that I want hit. 24 is going to be operational speed right now for all destroyers to keep them more or less at the same speed. Okay, hold your fire for just a moment here. Oh, okay, you know what? Don't hold your fire. Um, okay, so Kinpu. Who, what targets are you aiming? This, this is good. This is good. Zero directly north. That seems reasonable. Don't I do not want either of these. What what would this one be? Nine. Nah, let's go with the 354. This is better. Let's launch at this angle. Start putting them in there. We'll probably go down to slow because the action is just happening so fast here right now. Um okay, go this way. Go this way. I think some of these guys got spun around or didn't listen to my orders or something. I don't know how they all went off in different directions. Go up to 20. Go up to 23. And you're chasing... What's your max speed? 28. Okay, yeah. Wait. Is this my new one? Haha, <laughs> it is. The Chuncha Maru. Not the namesake, but still, it's a, it's a member. All right, but anyways, the, the, the day belongs to the destroyers, as it should. These guys have put in, put in their time. They've done their work. Undentified ship hit by a torpedo. That's actually my favorite uh, remark right now. When we have these unidentified ships getting hit, that to me is the best. Because I actually I want the ones that have not already been hit to get hit. Um, this cruiser is the Gangoot. We've already taken it. This destroyer. Honestly, this is perfect angle to launch those torpedoes at anyway. So I'm just going to launch at it. If we hit it, even better. Get the the next ones in line to start launching their torpedoes. If we don't have ships in line of fire, which there's no ships in line of fire, but anyway. Okay, DD is hit by torpedoes. Sweet, got him. That's what I wanted, just casualties through <laughs> the shotgun effect. <laughs> if you don't hit the target you're aiming for, you hit the thing behind it, which is A-OK -okay with me. That's a perfect launch. Take that. Just dump massive amounts of ordnance into this harbor. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Just lay waste to everything in there. That's a good. That looks like an excellent arc. The more angles we can fire at here, the better. Yeah, that, that looks good to me. Just dumping more torpedoes in there. You guys are torpedo-less, not completely. Let's put you down to 20 and just have you stand by for further orders. Get you guys up to 22 and have you assemble in the south. We'll make our runs, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. We'll make our runs from south to north. Just establish this convention. No torpedoes, do I do have a few torpedoes here. Friendly ship in line of fire, I don't know why it's saying that. It's also saying it's this one. <gasps> you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Our submarine is here! <laughs> Our darn submarine's getting in the way. I mean, it should be doing all the work for us at this point, but... No, I don't want that. 12? No, I don't want that. 19, 10, 293. No, it's not quite right. This destroyer right here is the one I, I think I want. Yeah, 297. Uh, I'll take that. If we can hit that thing, it's it's good. Just firing at anything that's moving right now. 
But some of them are not moving off. Ships in line of fire again? Okay, fine. Another turn without hits. That's always a disappointment. How did this how did this guy survive that? I I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> this guy has been hit by a torpedo. It's don't you lie to me, game. I won't listen. Going home. It's really nice that this group is going home safely. With some of my best ships there. My best destroyers. Any of them with nine, these are these are a prize that we want to take home with us. The ones with six, you know, they're a little bit more expendable. Send you back down on cruise. I'll put them on cruise so that I can call them back up to service. They won't have gone that far um, if we need to. Okay, unidentified ship hit by a torpedo. Great, got that one. These are the ones actually, I, these destroyers even, I want to make sure that we're, we're maiming. Because every target we can take out right now is one less we need to fight fairly. So, as much as we can, let's make sure we try to get it done. Okay, here we go again. Now, our, our cru light cruisers are honestly the best thing to come over here now. Because they're very, they're still like not unlikely. It's not completely impossible for us to take some torpedo hits with our big ships, which would be, you know, a bad way to end what is otherwise a glorious, glorious victory. Yeah, so that's the one I want. That's the one I want right there. there are these guys? Good. Yeah, this friendly ship in line of fire is just bogus. I don't know how it's possible, because even if we're attacking this target, we're leading them. We're not firing, firing anywhere near that submarine. I just wish it wasn't so, you know, bugged. Yeah, okay. Let's get these guys up to 26 now, because we do want to kind of outrun this. I think this is a group of destroyers. Okay. Um, we have some ships down here ready to start engaging as well. Are you with the three? You're with the nine torpedoes. Yeah, we want to be very careful here. Anybody with torpedoes left in this group? Mm hmm. Oh, we almost got that one. Or at least it's funny because we're they're unidentified, but we're shooting at them. Well, that means, rightfully so, by the way, it's pretty obvious that they're the Russian warships we just moments ago knew what they were. Um, you guys are also good. I don't know. It's It may not be necessary. So you're the older kind? Yeah. Oh, this is also Chun Chun Maru. Okay. Oh, undenified ship here. Ooh. You are the old group. Gaucho's here. Kushino. All of the old names. I'm assuming that these are um, transports, uh, merchant ships. So we're actually doing some damage here, which is good. We're actually taking a few hits as well, though, so that's not good. <laughs> I think we'll just launch torpedoes and get out of here. I know that we're launching at destroyers, and that's a weird thing to do, but it doesn't hurt because we've already... <sighs> See, friendly ships in the fire, I just don't understand how you're... How do you justify that? Ashikaze. Let's just launch some torpedoes. We get lucky, we get lucky. If not, you know, we just go home. Still waiting for these torpedoes to launch. The last of those. There they are. Ujo. Yep. She needs to get out of here. We don't want to lose her. Oh, Kushino. These are destroyers. Oh, good lord. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we're destroyers, I think, is probably the more appropriate way of saying it. We caught a few destroyers, and uh, they are they are done for. At least one of them is. I'm going to pull this guy off of his support role and have him go at maximum speed, steam over here, see what to do with the, about those. It's funny, because my destroyers heading back home were, would have ran into these guys as well. Oh. Really wish we had got that hit. Yeah, Kushino's still finishing these off. Gaucho's gonna do it, and then, you know, just steady as she goes, making sure we 
Eliminate them. You still have some torpedoes. We'll launch the final few. Hopeless against destroyers for the most part, but now we'll turn away. Okay, hit with the torpedo from my... <laughs> My, my light cruisers are torpedoing destroyers. You know things are really bad when... <laughs> oh god, another hit. Yeah. Oh, you guys have tons of torpedoes. Where, where are we going with you? You need to get into the fight. And those destroyers were last seen heading that way, so if you can. Um... That one already rolled over and sank. Not too surprising. It was hit by a torpedo as well as a ton of guns. Yeah, decimation. Decimation of the of the Russian ranks. It's what we wanted. It's what we were hoping for. That's what we're going to get. Shigar was launching torpedoes. Huh. From downtown. Oh, we're going right through her. It's a destroyer. I can. I, I'm understanding of that being a little bit difficult to hit. Hard to keep track of the whole battle. I mean, I really don't think we should risk it here. We already have a devastating victory. We could hit a mine. There's so many things that can go wrong. Um, the only thing that I would be interested in staying for is the opportunity to use my airplanes. Um, but I don't. I, I don't think that it's going to. Um, materialize the battle's too short 240 only six hours so i just don't think one thing i would hate to have happen so i probably will just launch a few extra torpedoes is for one of them to actually survive <laughs> so we're gonna make damn sure they don't i think it's already pretty convincing but now where are these destroyers getting hit okay yeah it is that one that was already a a goner, I'm sure. I'm moving us north now to see if we can intercept the rest of those destroyers. Don't really feel like having my battle cruisers now strategic. I mean, now battleships, but fast battleships, I suppose. But they're really just their old battle cruisers with the new designation. Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Well, we'll find out. No, I'm not even trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them out of the fight. Maybe they are good things to go after the battleships, actually. <laughs> Uh, now we've uh, called this one. Oh, that ship is still sinking. It's still going. Whatever that is, is a new target. Okay, a light cruiser. Oh, wow, this is, this is potentially bad. That was amazing that we didn't eat some torpedoes there. Well, they're probably having as hard of a time identifying us as we are with them. It's possible, at least. Okay, I'm sure that the situation is clear here. Um, yeah, so we'll run back north. It's kind of nice that our light cruiser ran into these guys, though. We have a chance to hit them. We will. We won't. Okay, now. Perfect. Okay, nope, not perfect. That's... There we go. At least one hit. Squad max. Take it down a little bit, but we'll go almost squad max. We have some other destroyers. Oh. Kaishu's hit by a torpedo. No. She might survive. She might. Um, like, there's... A very small chance. No, there's no chance. Okay, so let's detach her immediately so that the Furoro... That was a lazy attempt to pronounce it, to pronounce it, but to, pronoun to pronounce it. Boy, it's just hard to speak English, much less another language. So yeah, you're going down to zero. We'll see what happens. Might as well launch torpedoes. I don't suspect that you're going to live... Well, I think we're just going to start getting these guys home. One destroyer is acceptable losses, but more than that, I mean, we're just... We want to take as many down as we can, obviously. There's no... There's a good reason to try to stay in the fight, but... Okay. Now, launch. <laughs> just 
She's gonna have one last chance. <laughs> I think she, yeah, her drop flooding's down to 30. Don't think it's enough. Almost surely is too little too late, but. All right, yeah, let's send our battleships home. It's a night fight, they just don't belong here. We'll send them home at 16, but yeah, you guys as well, just cruise on home. We'll get them involved in another battle, I'm sure. One where it's daylight. It'd also be really nice to see our um, our carrier in action. Wouldn't that be nice? Nope, she has no torpedoes left, so let's just have her toss up her smoke. Oh, wow, it's down to 13. I might have to go back and save her. <laughs> yeah, didn't work. <clears throat> That's a lot of torpedoes to dump, but, um, well, if one of them had hit, it would have been nice. See this unidentified ship? Look at this thing. It's coming after us still. No, it's, it's going the other way, but... Gosh, she just starts an unknown ship. Yeah, I guess we'll just go around at squad max. Oh my gosh, she's going to survive. That's insane. Her machinery is repaired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Smoke. Smoke. Flooding of two, so she, she's just so close to going down. It's, it's quite possible still that she will. She can make ten, so let's have her make eight. Yeah, okay, I, I'm, I'm willing to play this game with you, Destroyer. If you want to go after our... Oh, no, she, she attached. Oh, God. Actually, not the worst thing, because <clears throat> she's still just moving. Trying to keep it uh, perpendicular so it's really hard to hit us with torpedoes. Ah, okay, well. Well, say la vie. So like, what the hell am I seeing here? How is this possible? <laughs> now get the hell out of there. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. How the hell was that thing still still surviving though? It's the beggar. This is that's the question I want to know. What the hell ship is it that was still around after all that? I don't believe for a second that this is a light cruiser. So let's just return to port. Our job here is done. Let's wait. We'll we'll return to port, survey the damage, and we'll we'll come back. I think we'll be in great shape. We've already, I assume, won the war. Yeah, there it is, Sarki class. But now with her identified, we're starting to land our six-inch guns. Don't don't think she's long for the world if she sticks around. Oh, there's another one though, and they probably identified me, so we're gonna make some evasive action ourselves. <clears throat> Your speed is very slow. Yeah, you're at 11 knots. We really need you to speed up a little bit more. Maybe one other, where's the one other light cruiser? I'll take you as well. Just get up to 26 knots at least. I'm willing to putz around with this. That seems like a big ship. Okay, it's not, thankfully. What do you mean holding fire uncertain identity? We know what it is. The Kaishu's slowly moving, too. <laughs> mm, darn it. But 
the sharks. I feel like we're sharking. Just patrolling the waters, seeing what we find. Seventeen knots, it's really too slow. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. That's why I'm trying to <laughs> move south away. Oh, okay, well, here they are. Okay. Interesting. We're in good position here. I really don't care too much about this transport, but we've decided to focus on it anyway. I'd like to land some hits on those destroyers. Alright, let's get out of here. Everyone's going home at breakneck speeds. <laughs> Make sure everyone's going the right way home. So everyone should be... I think there's a button now. Set like all speed... Go to center point. Um, what the heck is this? Force fatigue. I don't think I've ever seen this. What? Huh. I don't. It's so funny. I've never. I've never used this. <laughs> oh my gosh! You can find a ship. Very cool. Go to center point. I feel like that means they all go to one point, they converge, but I don't want to do that, so we won't. All right, yeah, these guys are going to leave the area as well. I don't think it's worth it to hunt down. We're risking much more valuable. The, the risk reward is, I think, not in our favor, strongly not in our favor. I give us about even odds killing, or maybe slightly better than even odds, but close to it, to sink those destroyers, but also to be sunk ourselves with a torpedo. And considering we have like a four or five to one ratio of points for these ships versus their destroyers, obviously giving us even odds on something which is much more valuable is not good. So, so that is how this um, war will begin. With a pretty stunning victory. I don't know where that is, but I, I heard that there is a set all formations to one target speed. Okay, here we go. And our submarine torpedo and enemy DD retiring. Well, that's actually pretty convincing considering. Oh, wait, 24. That's not 24. 52. No! Wow, we got them. One battleship, three battle cruisers. I really want to see if 52 is the one that was in the land because I have a reasonable suspicion why they can't return to port. <laughs> anyway, sinking in port, sinking in port, sunk. Wow. Let's see what we got. 31,000 tons, eight 13 inch guns. Bad crew, qual bad crew quality is a good sign for us. That means hopefully the other ones will also have bad crew quality and you know, that should that'll give us hope. Um, I wish I could look at their guns. Quality zero. Um, what their what is their oh it's right here they're using central firing. Interesting central firing on this one as well same ship. And good central firing. Okay, we have a huge advantage. They're not using director firing yet. Wow, okay, these are actually pretty terrible ships. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. We still have a huge advantage. This was, like, wonderful. If this was an actual fair fight, I would give us very good odds of winning, even with the five battleships we brought, which includes two really light battle cruisers. I could have just beached them, um, just ran them, retreated them out of the fight, and we I think our three battleships would have been able to take on these four capital ships. Still 316,000 to 5,000, almost 100 to 1 ratio. 
you know it's a good battle when. <laughs> um, let's see. No losses to our Air Force. Maybe they didn't even take off. I don't know. No losses to theirs. It was night. Everyone was was uh, not flying. That's right. Yep, 52 was reported missing. Well, I got to... There's a, a reason that might be. <laughs> okay, good. So let's see if the invasion also triggers. Wow, that wow, 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 what a start. Oh, God. Wow. We're not officially at war with France yet. This is that's the kind of funny thing. Activate everyone. That's crazy. So what is left in the Northeast Asian Sea Zone? They still have five battle cruisers. What the hell? And this did not count as an invasion. Well, we will invade the target. It's, in my opinion, like one of the primary concerns is to get that. And I think we have an air base in Wei Highway. We do. We have two air bases in uh, Hokkaido. Yeah, we're. I think we're we're pretty well set for. We'll we might even be able to dismantle the Wei Highway air bases um, once this war is over, assuming that we do take Port Arthur or the Laotong Peninsula. But Port Arthur. Too bad we didn't invade. Ah, too bad. So it does look like we're going to be at war with um, France which means knocking the Russians out as fast as possible would be great. Yeah, the Russians left only one battlecruiser in Northern Europe. Oh my gosh, if only we had an ally. You know, if, if Britain was our ally, if anybody was our ally, we'd be Egypt. Well, hopefully we'll just go to unrestricted here with the submarines. That might bring Germany into the war. It might. But hey, if you're fighting, you know, two to one odds, why not just make it three? Um, Germany is not really going to present much of a force over here. They will be able to use each other's basing, though. I'm much more worried about France. If France is in the war, and I think that they will be, then that's going to be a real big problem. Well, hopefully we invade the Laotong Peninsula as quickly as possible, if we can take it. Uh, then I won't have to worry about... Well, no, I still want to invade Sakhalin after that. So we need to keep a lot of troops up in the Northeast, or Northeast Asian Sea Zone. Wow, I can't believe that was a whole episode just for that. We'll probably advance one more turn. No, then people are going to tell me I'm, I'm, in, I'm going to be ending on a cliffhanger again. <laughs> I mean, this was a really fun battle. Refreshing. What does the situation look like in the near future? Design study of our new elite battleship will complete in three more months. We have two more Chanchan Marus coming out in 14 months. And we have our aircraft carriers in a year and a half. The first wave of our purpose-built light aircraft carriers. And this will certainly be the last war for our Sakura Jimas. They will be re refit as aircraft carriers after this. And I think we're doing okay on that. 1922 seems about the right time to have purpose-built carriers if we want, but it'll wait until 1924 or so um, when we can get around to, you know, whenever this war ends, we'll do the refit, and then we need a little bit of time after that before we can get purpose-built um, carriers. So, yeah, I guess I'll just conclude this one. Ah, uh, well, okay. I'm going to do next turn just to see what ne the next battle is going to be, and we probably will just end right when the next battle begins. Before I do that, let me just take a look at the air groups. So we put everybody to active. They should be, you know, finishing up or resupplying with the different, uh, with the increased load. I can go to aircraft now and we can see how many we have in reserve. So right now, who is obsolete and who's not? Because I remember people were telling me the new flying boat, was it, was much worse? Yeah. 
except for in maneuverability. No, it's faster too. Or was it float plane scout? Okay, show obsolete types. We're looking for one which is better. Was it fighters? Maybe it was fighters. 2105, 2105 and less range. No, yeah, this one, th this is the best fighter. In fact, we can probably obsolete all the other fighters. Considering they're all poor quality, <laughs> seems fine to me. <laughs> yeah, we'll focus on just the Mitsubishi Zero. Oh my gosh, the Zero. We have the Zero. <laughs> I don't think that's actually true, but what is this? On stock. Okay, so in stock is probably what it means. Well, we have enough fighters. I don't want to obsolete these because it'll put too much pressure on the Zero. So I'm going to retain all the fighters for now. Float plane scouts, float plane scouts. We have a ton of these older ones. Yeah, this older float plane scout, we do want to phase out. I should be obsoleting these more often. Was it already obsolete? Why do we have 56 of them in stock? This fighter is older than all hell. Why are we using the old stuff? Maybe I should be obsoleting these things manually a little bit more often. Oh, in service, okay. On stock is just we have them, but we're not, uh, yeah, I see. So the ones in service are the flying boat and the torpedo bomber. And that's right, we don't even have any fighters, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> we're gonna obsolete all the other ones because they're not as good. Now we can, so. All the ones I want obsolete, I think, are Float Plane Scout. Float Plane Scout. This new one is better in every way, so we can obsolete the old one. We can obviously obsolete the old, old one, and they both are obsolete. This Torpedo Bomber might be better just because... I mean, wait, we only have one Torpedo Bomber? Oh, okay, new one is under request, but... Yeah. So the Flying Boat here... It's not obsolete. Let's don't show the you know don't show the obsolete ones now. Yep, this is just simply worse. We'll obsolete that one as well. We don't need any in service, so it doesn't matter. It's fine to do that. This one versus this, yeah. So its range on this one is longer by about. I mean, on the heavy lo heaviest load, it's 15, but on the lightest, it's 30. Speed is significantly decreased. It is actually a better, as in tougher and more maneuverable. One of the things for me is just how reliable is it? We haven't been getting good reliability from these. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, I don't know. They're pretty equivalent. I, I guess I'll leave them both in service for this war, and hopefully we'll get another flying boat, which is better, so we don't have to make this this decision. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, like I said, we'll end this turn. We'll see what battle awaits us next. Unrestricted, do we have to put ships on? <clears throat> I think we have to put ships on. Coastal patrol. Trade protection, sorry. Whatever it's called. So the big thing this is going to answer is, do we need, are, are we going to be fighting France? And, by the way, Southeast Asia, where, who is in Southeast Asia? Oh, we need some destroyers down in Southeast Asia. What if we can get a, um, a, a surprise attack when France enters the war? That would be great. Yeah, I don't think we have any, I don't think we have any ships at all in Southeast Asia. <laughs> Yeah, we don't. <laughs> okay, so we have one air base, which is gonna help. Uh huh. Borneo probably could use. Oh, we have two air bases. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad. All right, next turn. Are yeah, we good? We can do the long Lao Tong. We're gonna lose some of our score here. Um, 143 will drop by like 13 or so to 130.
because we're um, we're moving out the destroyers just in case we get another surprise attack. I don't think you do. It wouldn't be much of a surprise attack if you were at war with somebody and somebody else joined the war. <laughs> but you never know. Okay, fleet battle. We'll accept this. We've seen what the Russians have so far. If they have more like that, we're in good shape. They declined. So hopefully we get an invasion then. Okay, they did not decline this. Attack enemy ships. Interesting. Well, that's going to be interesting considering it's nighttime. It just became nighttime. Why are they putting the light cruiser? The light. Uh, my carrier just needs to know how to go to port in times of darkness, knowing that it's not going to be useful. <laughs> Oh well, we'll see how this one turns out in the next video, but for now, thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.